in this lesson we are going to learn about relations and functions a little more we know that we have uh, some introduction to these two ideas we have already learned in 11th standard we are going to build on that idea in this lesson okay now what do we already know about a relation we know that a relation r from a to b is nothing but a subset of a cross b okay so and the elements of r are all ordered pairs now we are going to be interested in a special kind of relation which is a relation on a set a okay which means r is from a to a okay um and uh, this obviously is is a subset of subset of a cross a okay now we want to understand some properties of such a relation okay now we are going to have some definitions uh, that are important okay so let's see that if a is an element of a okay then if a comma a belongs to r for all a for every a if a comma a belongs to r then we say r is reflexive okay that means that means every element must be related to itself okay now the next idea is symmetric symmetric says if a comma b belongs to r then b comma a must belong to r here a and b are clearly not equal uh, entities okay so this then this means then r is symmetric and finally we have if a b and b c belong to r then a c belongs to r this condition if it is satisfied actually if this condition is satisfied then r is symmetric if this condition is satisfied then r is transitive okay now one very important thing to understand here is that the condition doesn't say a comma b and b comma a both must belong to the relation please note the condition is not that both of them should be there the condition is that if a comma b belongs to r then b comma a should belong to r if the condition is satisfied for every a comma b pair then r is symmetric similarly here it doesn't say that the triplet ab bc and ac must belong to r for transitive what we need is if a comma b and b comma c are two elements then a comma c must also be an element what if a comma b and b comma c are not elements of r well then we don't have to bother at all we can still say that the condition is satisfied the condition only says if these two are true are present then this must also be present okay so what is a transitive relation a transitive relation in, is one where this condition is satisfied or a better way to understand is where this condition is never violated in fact part b and part c we have to look at it as violation if the condition is violated then r is not symmetric if the condition is violated then r is not transitive but for reflexive it's not a violation a comma a must belong to r is a is a condition that we are making for every a okay so even though we usually give each of these three rules as some kind of the same 
weightage in terms of how to understand what we are saying here is that this rule is different this is something that you can you can check if it is satisfied okay if each element is there it's satisfied okay now here it's more a question of violation if this condition is violated then r is not symmetric if the condition is not violated by not having ab belong to belonging to r itself okay then we don't bother for example suppose we have an r which has something like 1 comma 1 2 comma 1 1 comma 2 3 comma 3 and 2 comma 2 okay what we find is that 1 1 and of course a r is a relation on the set a which has elements 1 2 3 now 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 are there so we can say it's reflexive okay now if a b belongs to r then b a belongs to r 1 2 if it belongs to r then 2 1 must belong to r well that condition is satisfied now you can ask sir what if 1 3 is not there at all but the condition doesn't say that every pair must belong to r 1 3 need not okay now that is the key here now similarly here look at the third condition if a b and b c suppose we add 1 2 and 2 3 then we'll check for 1 3 but 1 2 and 2 3 are not present at all in fact the only such things present are 1 2 and 2 1 okay but we know that if 1 2 and 2 1 are present then 1 1 must be present which is anyway satisfied because we already checked it's reflexive so we have a relation where many of these kind of elements that we have described here are not even present in the r but r does actually satisfy the three requirements why because it explicitly satisfies condition one and condition two and three are not violated therefore we say r is reflexive symmetric and transitive now a relation that satisfies all the above properties r is an equivalence relation if it is reflexive transitive sorry symmetric and transitive the example we have taken r is an equivalence relation